Hi, this is your Ultimate Crafter, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this awesome little flower ring. Also another one I've made, and it just looks like Materials this. Materials today will be six beads, an S-clip or C-clip, and 16 bands, whichever band you want for the middle or the center for your extension as well. Today I'm going to be using the Rainbow Loom brand black and the new Rainbow Loom metal tipped hook. Let's get started. So we're going to start with some black rubber bands, which will be your center rubber band. So it's a single for each one. Okay, so we're going to start with making a little honeycomb pattern. Like this. Add your extension. For me, it's three rubber bands. You can put as many as you need for your finger. You need to get one of your beads and one rubber band and squeeze it like this and just squeeze it through your pony bead like this. So you're going to need to do this throughout the way, so I'll see you there. You'll be using your hook with this and one of your beads that you have the rubber band through. So you're going to grab one part of that band and stretch it from over here, from this peg, to this forward peg, like this. Now just do it in the same exact order as I am doing it right now. You can use your finger if you want, if it's a bit easier for you, but if you don't want to lose the rubber band and you're scared about it, just use your hook. This is how your loom should look like right now. You can now. just add a cap band, a double cap band, in the middle. And now we can get started you're going to flip your loom around to do the hooking process. So now you're going to skip this band and go through here and go up. And do the same thing. Like you're this. You're going to go in your cap band and grab the top rubber band and go diagonal to that. Now you're going to just grab the top band for each one and do this all around just like I'm doing it. So your loom should look like this. Just like this. Now you're going to get one more rubber band and just do a slip knot. You can do a slip knot, but I usually don't do it just because it gets very loose on your finger take it off your loom. So now you're going to put the S-clip on the two chains that you had made the slip knot or just two links. So now you're going to grab your other S-clip and just put it on this really big space. And I hope you enjoy your flower. You can fix it up to make it as good and how you desire it. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye!